Hey guys, this is Nathaniel with uh, Marvel's Midnight Sun. Watch on YouTube. Hope you like and subscribe to, uh, to the channel. And... Killed Tony Stark, so Oh, I found one of my favorite records and I thought you might like it. Or at least be polite enough to fake it. Anyway, we'll get some more quality one on one time. It's a little retro, but <laughs> so are you. So what do you think? Lively, frustrating, angry, but liberating. Reminds me of how I feel toward caretakers sometimes. I like it. Oh, I knew you'd get it. It's grunge. It's what happens when you mix the nonconformity of 80s Seattle and tons of punk and rock influence. You get awesome bands like Nirvana, Pearl Jam, Soundgarden, making something super authentic with this messy, dirty sound. It, it put Seattle on the music map. I used to listen to it repeatedly during my I can't believe my mom stabbed me phase. As you can tell, she was a great mom. Didn't leave me scarred at all. Ugh, like why have a kid if you're gonna get rid of them when they interfere with your dark arts and crafts? Parenthood is not an easy fit, and the darkness, well, it can twist people, make them turn on those they love. It is not so easy to overcome it, even for your own child. I have learned that from my mother. I think I was there mostly to fit the image, a way to blend in with a white picket fence crowd. They should have just let me in on the joke. It would have been nicer than to think they actually cared. What is done is done. But I see you are still carrying it with you. Do not be afraid to go wherever you need to in order to find peace. Roger that, Hunter. Okay. No more of this downer <laughs> talk. Time to listen and let the sounds of angst carry you away. <laughs> It wasn't easy keeping all the night owls distracted to cover for you. Caretaker's not spoken a word to me all day. It's been lovely. You are the best girl. You know that, right? <laughs> You wanted to speak, Captain America? Please, call me Steve or Cap. I know I'm a newer kid on the block, but I'm noticing some major divisions within this team. All the interpersonal drama is pulling focus from the real danger, Lilith. I have witnessed the divisions, and I must have a better job of resolving the conflicts at hand. Hardest lessons hit the closest to our hearts. Leading others is never straightforward or easy. It's definitely not all on your shoulders, but I respect you for taking accountability. Don't forget that you're the only one of us who's beaten Lilith and paid the ultimate price for it. You stand out here as a leader. The Midnight Suns, Strange, Carol, Tony, even me. We all look to you for our cues. It's a responsibility. And it's a tough one. I have been a weapon all my life to be wielded and directed by others. Leadership ability is not my forte. 
I would appreciate a few pointers. Just the fact that you're willing to learn means you're on the right track. I would benefit from your honest appraisal. Take it step by step and build some bridges between teammates. We're all tired, but some team building might be what we need, even if it's just blowing off a little steam. Times like this, it's easy to forget we're all on the same side. You've already made the ultimate sacrifice once before. I've been there. I know what it's like to be asked to do it again and again. It doesn't get easier. But you get stronger and better at making the hard calls. I've given you a lot to process, but let's pick up this conversation again soon. kids for life I think we deserve an apology for sneaking out and jet level three a favor thanks hunter You are going to love this. Ooh, new coil. Let's get to work. Genius inventor strikes again.
the dark field could use you to do so. Old. Uh oh. No, we're involved. Do it right. <laughs> My shirt. Too bad you had to die for it. Good girl, Charlie. If you can beat Carol in a straight fight, I'll let you skip training. Good luck. Ready for more? Constant innovation. That's the stark promise. Do. Hold on, Banner. We're gonna have to get creative. What is this, an old-timey dance? I admire how you have made your own family here. Oh, you didn't have to say that. <laughs> oh, you didn't have to say that. Don't say that. This crap just keeps getting weirder and weirder. You know, I think Faustus might have been the Zodiac Killer. Nico, Magic, how are they? They won't speak to me. They're holding up, all things considered. But I wouldn't expect them to thaw anytime soon. Not when it comes to you. I see. I understand. Try and make amends. Reach out an olive branch. Just don't expect them to take it. I don't believe anyone can make sense of Dr. Faustus's ramblings. on the journal if by progress you mean genetic experimentation recipes demonic incantations and what strange here thinks is some sort of wait for it lilith fan fiction faustus wrote in a 10,000 year old dead language ancient atlantean then sure tons i actually speak a little atlantean t o mile of episith <laughs> <laughs> but I did find this a hole we think it's a shipping facility or smuggling Faustus may have been a demented loon but the man kept some pretty detailed records possibly for stealing from me 
Via the hole. Let me guess. That's why I'm here. Well, given the nocturnal and clandestine nature of this operation, as well as your experience in dealing with subterranean affairs... I'll bet. Ever wonder why you people only come to me for the dirty work? Because you're a vampire? You sleep in the actual dirt? Or a coffin? I mean, there's sort of a point buried in there. <laughs> Sorry. Let's go. Just once, I would like a mission on a tropical beach. Checking out a big dark hole in the ground does not excite you? Been there before. The drill wears off pretty quick. Combing through Faustus's twisted ramblings wasn't the easiest job in the world, but Captain Marvel did manage to find a spot of the... ourselves inside let me guess stealth not your style I'm a vampire remember <laughs> Causing trouble. Let's take them down. Is that it? If you're done showing off, why don't we move on Hydra and put an end to their artifact smuggling operation for good? No problem. like these that give people like us a bad reputation. About time. You kiss the mother with that mouth? Playtime's over. Shot. 
Additional Hydra forces en route. Get ready. According to our thermal scan, this hole branches from here across the entire city. What the hell was Faustus doing down here? You'd have to ask Crossbones. Let's do this! Give the mother my regards in hell. was impressive. We've lost one of the artifacts. Don't let them get away so easily. I perceive control of the situation. Hydra has always sought power from the occult, but this feels different. It's one thing to see the but this entire setup feels like distribution center. But distribution to where? If my mother is involved, nowhere good. Then I'm betting it somehow involves Banner. You had your chance!
The sheer scope of Hydra's operations in this city are staggering. Especially considering the number of heroes that take up residence here. The greatest lie the devil ever told was convincing the world he didn't exist. Trucks were just the beginning. Secure the area and head to the source. The gigantic storm the Hydra drilled under our noses. Let's hope we don't have to do that again. for Hydra. Faustus was killed so that we would never find this place. Crossbones was looking for any excuse to put that guy down. We just came along at the right time. Either way, whatever's down that hole is clearly worth killing to protect. I suggest we get down there while we can. They cannot possibly match your strength. Well, that's interesting. Watch closely. I am impressed. The enemy has the upper hand. Indestructible. This should be good. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. this fight that's the last of them well done well done huh well done where do you think it goes down better not be a fire dragoon lair fire dragoon a dragon Hydra's been busy. Whatever the hell they're doing down here, it smells wicked. Sanctum. Back door. Gonna say yes. We serve our mother. We await the return of the midnight sun. We hate interlopers. Prefer the fire dragoon. <laughs> Hydra forces in this area are causing trouble. Let's take them down. Doesn't sound like much. 
Walk in the light. Definitely does. That door of his may be our best bet at getting through to the Sanctum and finally taking the fight to Lilith. Smells like fresh meat, surface meat. So much better than sewer meat. Sweet, sweet surface meat. Yeah, I'm sure he'll let us through if we just ask nice. <laughs> Team don't hold on that part. Our friend is down. I am going to get you for this. Reinforcements on approach. Hydra would make a far easier meal than us, monster. The crunchy shell. The meat is spoiled. Mother's blood is stronger. It sours the flavor. Too much gamma. For our liking. Well, that would be our Gotta make things interesting.
sword. That was possible there, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Soon we eat. Soon we eat. Why him again? Hydra's reinforcements, even down here in the sewers. Deal with them if they are in the way. But Venom is the priority. Yes. Food should not play with other food, especially when we are hungry. You are not to still be This is too much effort for food. The green doctor will be here soon, and we are needed. When time for stubborn. Including that he's still lively enough to say it. Can we take him down already? Too strong for a moment. Oh, I can't get out of this. Keep trying. Maybe you'll get lucky. They've got friends. Oh, I may need some help here. Their best was still not enough for us. We've done it. Excellent work. Oops. Hey, Van Helsing! If you're gonna do something... Now's the time! Hang on, Dracula! This one's gonna hurt! Purge that monstrosity! Darkness, it does. 
Venom's breath was bad. It is. Hmm. You know I'm kidding, don't you, Charlie? Yeah. How long was I out? Days. What Days. happened? Before or after you exploded? The collar. Still intact. Though, I'll admit, when Agatha and I first made it for you, we didn't anticipate the need to withstand alien energy. Felt like more than that. As if... I... Thankfully, the Venom creature didn't seem to like it either. Ran off through that gate of his. Which is why Blade was able to get you home. Next time, I will send that thing straight into the Abyss. Next time, there will be no next time. I know I've been pushing things hard. Pushing you. That's what you do. Maybe not on this one. At least until we find a way to counteract the volatile effect of these compounding alien and mystic energies. Which reminds me, Strange and Stark have been chomping at the bit to come see you. Which, of course, I would not allow. Hope you are not too rough on them. Me? Of course not. Though I can't speak for Charlie. Still, wouldn't hurt to show your face around here when you're ready. People are starting to worry. Hey, what? And you are certain it will hold? We wouldn't be standing here if I wasn't. You two focus on the creature. I will worry about the collar. Haven't really seen Blade since he got back from the sewer. Carrying Hunter home on his back. He's still outside. Being extra broody. Maybe you should talk with him. Um... Good idea. I'll go with you if you like. Um... All I'm saying is the tower's lost. We're no closer to breaking through Slimerama's sanctum shield, and our exalted chosen one just woke up and is listening to our every word. Uh, it's great to see you on your feet again, boss. Outside, I think. Uh, perched by that mausoleum. Like a gargoyle he is. Yo, Hunter. Blade is outside by the mausoleum. You should thank him for saving you. Just FYI, he seems a little shaken up. Yeah, you should go check up on him. Least you can do. You walked away and Venom did not. Impressive. Mm. Fascinating. We've all walked away from exp We're missing something, Hunter. And the frustrating thing is it's happening right in front of us. Where? 
The Sanctum is filthy with Hydra. Too many of them. It wouldn't take many guards to secure the building. So the question is, what else are they doing in there? There is only one way to find out for sure. And to do that, we need to get inside. That's not going to happen until we get a sample from Venom. Our list of problems continues to grow longer. Well, we're not here for the easy stuff. All I'm saying is that it's never a good thing when the prophesied savior of your blows up. Yes, the Venom creature's alien. I'm sure I'm not the first person to inquire on this fine morning, but seeing as how you did explode in what I might describe as a most spectacular fashion, any side effects I should know about? Headache? Blurred vision? The urge to murder us all? Do not waste your energy worrying about me, Doctor. I am fine. Oh, but it's my job to worry, quite literally. <laughs> Worrying is written into my contract with the Avengers, and I don't want to be in breach of that. Tony is a stickler for the fine print. But, in all seriousness, I hope you feel comfortable enough to disclose any medical conditions you may be experiencing now. We can't in good conscience send you back into battle against Hydra if you're not in tip-top condition. My head is throbbing. An explosion will do that to you, I'm told. Meditating or taking a nap might do the trick. Of course, Tony would prescribe a triple-shot macchiato. Still, it's hard to believe that's all you're suffering from. You're made of tougher stuff than I thought. Is there anything else I can help you with? Any burning philosophical questions about the universe you need answering? Do you really think we will be able to halt the prophecy? <laughs> halt? No, unfortunately not. Prophecies are stubborn things. So, you do not believe I can change mine? Anything we do would be like dropping a rock in a stream. We might stop it or divert it for a bit, but the relief would only be temporary. This prophecy will come true, one way or another. How do you do it? Do what? Balance both light and dark magic without becoming overwhelmed with one or the other. Yes, I am rather well-rounded in my magical gifts, aren't I? I suppose I see magic as a tool. I use magic, but it doesn't use me. Just remember, you don't need to go pure dark or pure light unless you want to. There is room for everyone's own unique path. Are you worried about what is happening to the Sanctum? I try to keep those thoughts roped away from my own sanity. I am deathly afraid of what Lilith is doing in there. I don't think she hijacked my home just so she could rifle through my sock drawers. I should take my leave. There is much to do. Yes, yes there is. Just don't push yourself too hard. You are, after all, still part human. Hunt, glad to see you back on your feet again. Strange and I tried to stop by for a little house call while you were out, but turns out your dog is part flamethrower. She is very protective. <laughs> That's one word for it. Listen, I know you're probably hearing all sorts of comments after your last tangle with Venom. For what it's worth, we both just wanted to say that we don't think you should get within 50 light years of that thing until we sort out what the hell's going on between you two. How does the old saying go? Slash me once, shame on you. Slash me twice. I couldn't have said it better. It's like I'm talking to a living meme. I would hope not. The last meme was killed during the Great Culling. Their mimic abilities made them one of the deadliest threats of the old world. <laughs> right. Let's get back to fighting the giant alien slime monster. Look, Strange and I have been studying pieces of that symbiote ever since this nightmare began. 
problem is, the further they get from the source, the more their molecular structure changes, which basically renders them useless to us. In zombie movie terms, I need a sample from Patient Zero. The old slime ball himself. Venom. Or Eddie, if you talk to Peter. Either way, that's our guy. We get a sample from him, somehow maintain its molecular integrity long enough for Strange and I to poke around at it, and, well, we're in business. Let me guess. You have a new gadget in mind for the task. Gadget? No, not a gadget. Plans for a groundbreaking device to solve this insurmountable problem and keep you from exploding next time you fight the indestructible monster? You betcha. I like where this is going. Good. Calling it my symbiote sampler for now. Hey, I ran out of acronyms, okay? Stage one in stopping our symbiote nightmare once and for all. Meet me over by ye old anvil over there, and we can get started. Oh, you're not afraid of needles, right? Needles? Forget I asked. Oh, you are gonna love this. Are there any curses I should be aware of? The curses to be aware of? I don't think so. Risk, really? Welcome to Tony's Scary Demon Cave. I'm Tony, and how may I assist you today? How's that for quality workmanship? Hunger. By two mark to every end would be hurt. I'm happy to help, Hunter. Heard you walked away from a kaboom. You didn't look back, did you? Superheroes don't look back at explosions. They just keep on going. Was that the f your one tough cookie, Hunter? Biscotti level tough. Biscotti? Teeth breaking Tony kind of cookie. If only I was more teeth breaking with venom. Yeah, not your best moment, but it wasn't a total bust. We learned that it takes more than an energy blast straight from hell to wipe you out. True. And that blade? He's an asset. I owe him my life. Yeah, he gets five stars from me. And ass-kicking abilities aside, he's pretty on point with his movie references. Outside the mission stuff, I gotta say, I had my doubts about Blade. The brooding vibe, the sunglasses indoors, his lack of preference between a Chicago style versus New York, which is just plain wrong. But the more I see him in action, the more I think he might be an okay dude. You definitely left a mark on him as well. <laughs> he is quite impressed with your capabilities. Well, let him know. The feeling is 100% mutual. Happy to have him on the team. Anyway, I wanted to ask how you were and it turned into a full-blown cooler talk. Better get back to work before the boss notices. Catch you later. Hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter.
Ready to work? If you can beat Carol in a straight fight, I'll let you skip training. Good luck with that. Later. Hmm. I'm almost getting used to seeing you on your feet. about the explosion hunter. No shame. Leads up here. Man, I'll start a new video for people on YouTube and hope you guys enjoy.